generic model model.com let's take a look here at bitcoin and we're going to use this chart to illustrate why we should always make sure that we pay attention to other time frames so here's a situation where we see that there was a big drop if you take this movement here which was at about let's call it 6900 we see a big drop of almost 10 percent where bitcoin moves in a short period back to about 8,600 so almost 10 percent pullback so now what i want to show you is that if you had been watching the daily chart then this type of a sharp reversal is not a surprise and it goes again to illustrate why we should always pay attention to other time frames because on the daily now this is the hourly chart if you take a look at the daily my explanation for why we have this reversal is here where we see the daily chart where rsi 69.1 is rejected with uniform activity here and because of this uniform activity rejection we get a sharp reversal where we saw on the hourly sharp movement higher sharp movement lower and again my best explanation is because of this rsi 69.1 rejection something that i talk about all the time and something that we are seeing a good example here back to the hourly chart and we can see that this movement here was explained by observing the daily chart where bitcoin was rejected on the daily when trying to move above 69.1 and because that rejection was with the uniform activity this movement lower was no surprise so always makes sense to take a look at other time frames because what is going on or what is controlling might be easily explained by other time frames especially if you don't look at bigger time frames you'll find that some of what goes on in an instrument can be explained by bigger time frame so even if you're trading the smaller time frames make sure you also account for bigger time frames eric moadith mother.com as always good luck peace and blessings e a c s yes Woo! Woo -woo 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 -woo!